Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77. Today, we're going to go over something with some redstone that uh, I'm kind of interested in because I honestly don't know anything about it. We're going to try to do some stuff with flying machines. I'm going to try to suss out what's going on with them. How do they work? And see if I can uh, make one and that, that sort of thing. So I think the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to get started by picking out things that I think we would need. And I went to the redstone tab. I know we're going to need pistons probably and sticky pistons. That seems kind of obvious. Um, probably observers and redstone blocks, I would think. Um, maybe repeaters and some redstone. I'm not quite sure. Um, we probably should get for blocks. We should probably get a block that we want to just use as a block to build with that's movable and probably an immovable block. I think that's what we can start out with. So let's try to figure th some things out. Now, one of the first thing that I want to do here, uh, I want to figure out how the observers work with movement, I think. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put an observer on top of here. And you can see it's looking at this direction and it is sending the redstone signal out here. And I want to see if this is pushed, the observer is pushed, does it detect a change? I think that that's one of the key things that's going on. So let's, uh, let me set up a piston here. There we go. And if we power this piston, it will move the observer. And if the observer detects a change, this little red dot should light up, right? So let's keep an eye on that dot. And if so, I think that's part of what's going on. So let's just double check here. Yep, I saw it. I saw it light. Did you see that light? Oops. Let's uh, let's try that again here. Okay. Now, if you look, watch this little red spot right here. Don't look where I'm uh, putting down this thing. Look at that spot. It'll it'll be uh, pushed out, and there it lit up really quick. Okay. So that makes kind of sense. Now, so if it goes out, okay, and there is a uh, piston. Let's put a piston right here. Okay, let's do this another test here. Okay, um, let's put a piston on top of here. Uh, let's not put this one there. Let's put it right here. Okay, so if this extends like we did, it should pop this little red dot. We saw that. And I believe, even though there's no redstone dust or anything, because it's on top, it should power this piston really quick. So let's make sure that that works. Yes, the piston fire. Okay, so that kind of makes sense about what's going on with a, a, a flying machine and pistons firing over and over. The other thing I, that I see here is that if um, if this is a sticky piston, if you know about sticky pistons, they have a way where they can eject the block uh, out and come back. Even though they're sticky, they don't pull it back, and then they will pull it back on the second try. That's kind of a known mechanic in Java. So if I were to make, let's just say, I don't know, um, Let's do the same thing we built there just a second ago. Okay. Now, if it goes really quick, it should probably, because this is a very short tick, it should just eject the block but not pull it back. Yeah, see, that did that very quick. And if you fired it again or made another change in front of this, let's just put a block, pulled it, pulled it back. See how it's just basically, it's not pulling it back every time. So these are the various mechanics, I think, that are used with flying machines, Okay. So let's start to work something out here. Let's make a flying machine. Um, well, um, you know what else we probably need is slime blocks. Are they in redstone? Where would they be? I don't even know. Let's just search for it. I had everything I needed but slime blocks. Okay, so if the slime block is here and here, okay, because we're going to make two machines here side by side, okay? Now we have that. Let's put our um, circuit. We're going to mirror this basically, I think. So there's that, and let's put a sticky piston. We saw how that works. Okay, we'll put one there and there. And I think this should be a machine. Basically, if we did put something in here, it'll detect the change and fire this out really quick, which should push this block, the slime block, out, and then it'll retract. The slime block will go out, but because it's attached to this block and this block, they will move. But then immediately, this will see the change, okay? And it will then make this piston fire. But because it's far away from the now this slime block, it will then reach out and pull it back, causing this to update. And it's basically a repeated loop. So does that make sense? I hope it does. Now I'm going to put, um, I made a mess. I'm going to put some immovable blocks out here just so I don't go too far, like a wall. I think this will work. So I'm just going to put a block here to update this, and it should just start working, I think. 
Um, you know what? It's probably going to grab the dirt, the slime block. I think I needed to be a little higher. Let me uh, let's dig some of this out so we're not touching anything. And that's a scary sound. Okay. So it should now work, I think. Let's go check this out. Yes. Okay. That makes sense. And then, really, since it's a mirrored flying machine, it should go the other way. Okay. So that works. So I, I this is kind of cool. That block can be go away. But you notice if I put a block in front of this, it starts it up. So how are we going to make it now reverse? Let's figure this one out. Okay. So we're over here. Okay. And I want... I don't really need to do that probably yet. I want a block to be pushed out in front of this. So I think that we'll put a block, and this will be pushed out by a piston. Probably a sticky piston, so let's put one right here. Okay. Okay, that's good. Now, that has to get power. So let's um, let me put a block on here. And let's put some... Um, Put a repeater. This can cause a delay, I think. Yes. And we want to... Ah, right here, probably, we want to have another one of the observers. And so it's, it's looking the wrong way there. Okay, it's looking for something. So a change here would cause it to fire. And I think... Does that work? No. How about this? What if we put it up here? So it's powering the block. The block powers the redstone that's on top, firing into the repeater. And the reason why I did a repeater here is because, if you recall, about edges, this has two edges. It has one that lights up, is on, which would fire the piston. But when it lights off, it should turn that piston off, which would then gather the thing back up. The uh... So let me, um, let's, let me start something here real quick, and let's just see. Let's push this all the way down to the other side. Okay, now if this works, this should detect, send the power signal through, cause this block to go, and it should auto reverse. Let's go check this out. Ready? Okay. We're hoping that this reverses, and it did. Okay, so that's good. That's that's the way we work this things out. You got to kind of tinker with it. Let's uh, tinker with it. Yeah, exactly. Um, let's go here. Let's put another sticky piston and let's mirror this on each side. Um, we had two blocks here. Wait, this was a, an observer, right? Uh, yeah. There is the signal. And we had two blocks here with a redstone dust and a repeater set to four ticks, which causes the delay. So this should now bounce back and forth automatically. Let's go see if this works. It looks like it's working. All right. I think that works really well. Um, to stop it, how do we stop it? Um, well, obviously, we just do that, and it won't, it'll fire, but nothing will happen. Um, there we go. Okay, so th that is a pretty basic idea of flying machines. I don't know if this has been any help to you. It has been helpful for me, because I did not understand... Well, I didn't know that when the, an observer moves... It detects the movement change. I think that was what was kind of throwing me off. I always thought it. it and I obviously it looks for, you know, if you have if you have an observer here and something happens in front, a change, that's physical. I would think that 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 makes this light up. I didn't know that even though there's nothing here, like in the spot right above this block and this spot spot, there's nothing here. I didn't know it would detect that it moved. And so with a little bit of playing around, I've kind of now figured that out. So this makes sense. Um, and in fact, you probably, I know I have this um, observer here facing outward, these two. Uh, in theory, I would think that that should be able to work facing upwards because if it faces upwards, it should, um, the, the little red dot we've going into the redstone, or sorry, the uh, slime block and power. Let's try that out really quick here. Oops. Um, put that sticky piston back um actually let me take it out while i build it because i'm worried about the sink going off without it okay so that's not what i want let's um here so i can put these from below okay there's one hold on 
Okay. So now, now they're facing upward. And if I put a sticky piston down here, uh, this will probably launch it really quick. Let's uh, <laughs> put this one first. Um, I have to have a block to put it against. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to put one in right here, and it should almost immediately launch. Well, it won't launch because there is no block here. And even if it is, there's no change going to happen. So it will not launch. Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of this. I hope you're enjoying this as well as I am. Okay. It did launch that thing over there, obviously. It did that, but that didn't ma matter. So now if I put a block on top of here, it should then work, right? Yes. So you could do something with uh, an observer going into... Um, well, okay, let's, let's, let's reconfigure this real quick. I'm doing a little bit of fun here. Okay, so if we have... Um, oh, darn. If we have right here... and Okay, let's put this back here. If we have an observer looking for a change... Okay, it's going to send out a signal. And we want to have, again, a repeater. We could then be looking down at that repeater, right? Yes, we could. Uh, let's do this real quick. I can't, it's hard to do when you're flying. Okay, looking down, sending a signal over, and I want that to go into a, um, well, no, it has to go back and around. Hmm, okay. So it might have to be even lower. Let's go start over here, just like I had before. Maybe we have to do it that way. Okay, there it's coming out. And we want it to basically go to a block that's above here that'll be pushed outward. Okay, so let me uh, put a sticky piston here. Okay, that makes sense so far. So that, that will then fire it out. And I would like to have an observer looking downward. That's the wrong way. Um, this may launch it, and I don't mean to, but that's okay. Um, so if it launches, you'll know why. Okay, it did. So now it's looking here for anything going on. So if we put that there, and um, I'm just going to put a block, I don't care. Um, and that repeater. Okay, so that should do it again. Okay, so if we do that, let me launch this back over. And it should reverse. Okay, so, you know, the observer position really didn't matter whether it's facing upwards or outwards or whatever. It's the detection of the movement that it's doing. So, um, yeah, I think this has been a fun experiment with flying machines. Uh, that's about all I've got time for today. So, hey, if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications, okay? Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.